Slim for the summer with Jimco, Finicky, and Cityside. Start your summer body today. Join online at jimbelfast.co.uk. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, and welcome along to Cool FM Facebook Live for week nine of Slim for the Summer with me, Stuart Robinson. So we've had our live radio weigh in. We now move the show over to Facebook, and this is where our contestants this week will be doing their very public weigh-ins to see have they continued on their mission to ultimately get Slim for the Summer. Now, before we get into them, let's talk to our PT, uh, Neil Anderson from Jimco in Belfast. Good to see you, as, as always, Neil. Um, I've been down in the gym a few sessions during the week. How are we progress, and then nine weeks into this, of course, you've been on board now for the last, what, four or five now? Yeah, progressing well, Stuart. Uh, definitely moving a lot better. All the way things that we sort of, you know, assessed at the start in terms of the sort of sedentary lifestyle and what it ultimately uh, does to you, you know, and, and how it inhibits training. We've kind of undone a lot of the sort of damage that's done from that side of things so yeah you're moving very well i think obviously you're working on the other elements of fitness recovery and so on is obviously a bit of a struggle on occasion uh, and it obviously and it shows us you know in terms of your energy levels depending on how your food's been and things i think you've noticed yourself you perform better obviously when you've had a good day's food and uh, well hydrated so it's just getting everything dialed in but definitely progressing very well and I also noticed I perform better when I don't fall asleep in the bath before a gym session because I kind of, I walked in very kind of, very relaxed and then I wasn't really prepared for what the next 60 minutes was to throw at me. So, um, so yeah, I haven't done that in a while actually, but I just must be feeling, feeling tired. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it all catches up at some point and uh, you're, you're training hard, you're moving a lot more. I think this week you said you were pretty good in your steps and getting out for walks and things. So yeah, you know what, you, you work hard and uh, training hard, you're going to hit these wee points where your energy's not uh, at its at its best. So, yeah, you had that cat nap, and obviously uh, I, I nearly thought we'd lost you at one point in the rowing machine, but uh, you, you got it back, but uh, good, good, good session. All right, we'll catch up with you through the show, Neil. Um, okay, uh, if you're just joining us on Facebook Live this afternoon, you're very welcome along. It's great to be with you. Uh, continue to like and share and comment on our video as well. Uh, we will read some of those out throughout the next uh, 20 or 30 minutes or so. Um, I have to say, um, I have the figure here with me. Not this figure. This figure is still being worked under. But another figure in the tar terms of numbers of how much weight our contestants have lost since we kicked this off back in January. Um, would anybody in the group like to have a rough guess in fact, everybody in the group have a guess at collectively how much weight you reckon we've lost since January together between us. So what do you reckon, Donna? About 15, Chris? 15? 18, says Sarah? 14, Stuart, Gareth, what do you think? 20s, Maureen? 15? Laura? And right, two of you got it right. Sarah and Elaine got it spot on. Collectively, since we started Slim for the Summer back in January, between us, we have now lost 18 stone 8 pounds. 18 stone 8 pounds. So you think about that as, a, as in a, a whole person. I think that's, pretty much, that's pretty much Gareth. We have, lost, <laughs> we have lost Gareth. It is impressive when you look at it like that. And uh, just a consistent effort across the, across the board. It's, uh, it's really impressive. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, as I think Stuart commented there, that would have been the equivalent of one of our lunches previously, a big 18 stone dinner. Uh, so that's what we've lost since we've kicked this off. Before we uh, weigh in our contestants, it is time for me to do my own uh, week nine weigh in. Of course, last week, if you were watching our Slim for the Summer, I had got down to 17 stone five. So it was a loss of three pounds this week. What will the scales say today? It's time for another live weigh in. Here we go. Two pounds, happy enough with that. Um, and I'll tell you one thing, right? One thing I've learned, and I've learned this the hard way, I learned nothing else out of doing Slim for the summer last year, of course, because I ended up having to come back. But I learned 
the value of a good pair of socks. And I see these ones are beginning to get holes in them too. I went deliberately, I bought like 10 pairs of socks before I kicked this off this year, and I see holes beginning to appear. So I need to get that sorted. Um, it's a washing machine, exactly. Bad washing machine, um, as opposed to old socks being blamed there. So what do you reckon then? Two you thought I was going to ask you what you thought about my socks. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to come up with an excuse while walking. But no, you, you, you definitely, two pounds, it's all consistent. And, and I mean, anything too much beyond that can be a little bit too much at this stage. You're going to get a big drop early on, and then it's just about consistency. So if you think about it, Thanks. Uh, he has left a comment. He says, uh, just watching Slim for the summer as I'm having my lunch right now. Um, that boy needs to go kicking, doesn't he? We need to get him back in. The, uh, yes, we would like. I would very much like to see that lunch uh, too. Um, there was a Boojum Snapchat, was there? Ah, interesting. So he is enjoying uh, himself down in Dublin at the country festival this week. I look forward to getting him back here next week and we'll find out how he's got on. So no way in from Deputy Dave today. So we're going to just get straight into it. And I think Gareth is going to come up first. Come on up, Gareth. On the way in a week ago, you were down to 15 stone 10. Is that right? Oh, sorry. S S S S S oh, sorry. I was, I was reading someone else's weight. Sorry about that. You got excited there, didn't you? I did, uh, yeah. That was, that was really good. Just took two and a bit stone off you in a fash. Oh, we have. A <laughs> there we go. There's a. There's another three stone on to you. We're having our own sort of BBC moment this week, so we are. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right. Well, he's he's spurring you on and wishing you well. We all are as well. <laughs> A week ago, Gareth was 17 stone. He's been doing really well. Has he made it into the 16s this week? Let's find out today. Your weight is... Oh, 17.3! What's happened? A uh, few, few poor decisions this week, and... Uh... Old habits die hard and all that. Or maybe that was, was that your, your wee boy there? Yes. Maybe he was interfering with the scales. That's what it was, that's what, that's what it was. We'll... <laughs> so what, what were the per decisions this week then? How have you you've put on three pounds? You were so close to touching into the 16s. I sort of made a bad decision last night with my dinner choice. And the Indian was very nice, but it was clearly too much. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, you know, th I'll ask Neil here, you might know, three pounds can't just be one bad meal then, is it? Wouldn't have thought so. I mean, it depends, obviously, dehydration from very salty foods and things then. Consume more water, you obviously retain water then. So there's a potential you might, you might have a little bit of water retained if it is just literally you've been bad over one meal in, in likelihood of, yeah, well, I, yeah, I think there was a few bad decisions came in there, as, as you said. So, yeah, it's just, it's taking that and noticing, you know, you, you know what now you get away with and what you don't. And I think... It is everything in moderation. I, I don't suggest everyone in a completely harsh diet to cut absolutely everything out, have the odd meal out and things like that, but it's just within reason. So just back to the drawing board and get a better week that the consistency, say 95% is good, 5% of some of the things you, you do miss. And if you can keep like that, you'll be flying. Okay, let's get back on to it again, Gareth. Uh, give him a big round of applause, please, everybody. Um, it's a shame, isn't it, um, when the skills start to go the other way for you? And I'd particularly, Gareth, as you were doing uh, so well, in fact, take ourselves right back when you came here day number one. Uh, wasn't it 18 stone four? 18 stone four, so we got right down to 17, and you'd lost 7% of your body weight up until the three-pound increase this week, so... Hopefully we'll see it going back the other way again in a week's time. Okay, uh, we're going to ask um, Sarah to come up next. Come on up, Sarah. We're just mixing it up a little bit this week. How have you been getting on? How are you feeling? Yeah. Are you drunk? No, it's just I'm a year older now. and uh, it's, uh, you know. Uh, no, I'm grand. Hopefully I'll get the stone this week. So you had a birthday during the week. You didn't have cake, but you had Swiss roll. That's clearly okay. It was a sliver. It was a sliver of Swiss roll. The kids and David ate the rest. But no, I've been very, very good. I'm very motivated. My food's good. And 
And good, good on you because I mean I know certainly a birthday. Well, previously a lot of us doing this and watching this would not have needed an excuse, but a birthday, even on a diet, is sometimes an excuse to go mad. But you didn't do that, did you? No, I've kind of lost all wish to eat fatty, sugary foods, and I had a bar of chocolate at the weekend last week, and I, I couldn't eat it. It was just waxy, and I, I thought, why am I eating this? So, and it's, and it's good. It's sad in a way, but it's also good in a way that you do begin to become by foods that previously made you overweight, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. So just clean eating and. Okay, well, let's find out if you've made it into the Stoners Club. I know you've been keen to get there. 11 stone, 9 pounds a week ago. This week, on the scales, you weigh. You're 11 stone, 7 pounds. You've done it. You're a stoner. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about that? Sarah, come, come on, come on over. How are you feeling about that? That's a full stone off then since the start of the year. Yeah, well, I've been trying to lose this extra two stone for years and years. And I've actually got now, when I got on the scales this morning, I have a fat percentage body fat water scales. And I'm actually now in a healthy BMI. So it's fabulous. I haven't been there for... Are you feeling, you must be feeling good in your skin now as well, are you? Oh, I do. I feel really good. I've bought new clothes and yeah, love a life. Yeah, and like this is March, remember, by the time we get to, to June, you're going to be there. You're going to be where you want to be. So, well done. Good result there, Neil, then. She got the two pounds she wanted. Yeah, well done again. Yeah, brilliant result. And I think, you know, what Sarah was saying there about her food habits and things, that sort of change in palate, where if you eat certain foods for a long enough period, you kind of you, you lose that interest in certain things. And that's a great sign for uh, things to come, because I think when you break those habits, significantly then you can obviously maintain what you're currently doing so yeah brilliant i'd say that next stone will be no problem as well just with the consistency of how sarah's getting on yeah now that you're off uh, chocolate as well easter will be no problem no problem for you at all okay thank you for all the messages coming through Je jenny armstrong thanks for shouting in our live video uh, barbara adair hi to you uh, cindy wishing donna lots of luck for the way in today uh, declan's we wishing maureen uh, lots of luck. Uh, Jason's just watching Slim for the summer with Heineken now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that, Jason. Thank you for spurring us on. Uh, and also Heather Viant as well saying really congratulations and well done to, to you, uh, Sarah. So uh, well done and thank you, Heather. If you want to shout in, leave us a message. We'll read out some of those throughout the live broadcast over the next 15 or 20 minutes or so. And of course, you can continue to share our video. Hopefully, may inspire people that you know in your own life who struggle with their weight as well 18 stone eight pounds is how much together we've lost since the start of the year by just tweaking those little habits bad habits in our own lifestyles and being more active and watching what we throw into our pie holes 18 stone eight pounds is an entire human being and you can do it as well you can little tweaks in your everyday life that can start to get you into a better place and hopefully what we're doing and knowing that we have lost that amount of weight since January um, will motivate some of you watching this as well to do the same. Stuart's coming up next. He was 18 stone three a week ago. How will he get on today? Well, we we say a week ago, you weren't here on the way in last week, were you? No, two weeks ago, I was, uh, unfortunately I had to stay on work last week. So uh, I don't really know what way things are going to be. I've been on night shift the last couple of weeks and everything's been all over the place. So I'll just take it as it comes, you know. Okay, um, you look you look good. You look certainly trimmer, but you don't sound overly optimistic. I have to say, I'm never optimistic when I stand on these scales. You know, these things frighten me. <laughs> but this, I haven't been able to wear this t-shirt in two and a half years, so that's the positive thing out of it. So yeah, it's funny, isn't it? How you know, big burly men like us, you know, we shouldn't be afraid of of things. Least of all a a piece of ass. But actually, I'm the same. I tremble every time I get on to to the scales. Neil, in fact, tried to weigh me in at the gym the other night and we had to do it three or four times because I was literally, I think it may have been something to do with the workout, but I was physically, I was shaking. He told me you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he secretly told me you'd actually lost a wee bit more on Thursday. Right, okay. And even, even the... <laughs> Scales, but even you find that little corner of the house where you weigh about a pound less than you do in another corner. It's, it's kind of a strange thing. So we try to keep it as consistent as we can for the purposes of this. Let's find out how you've got on, Stuart. You're 18 stone, three pounds 
when we last weighed you in on Slim for the summer. Are we down in and around the late 17s now? Let's find out. Ooh, you're just about there. Uh, how are you feeling with that then? Three pounds off. You are going to be in the 17 stone range next time you get on these scales. Past the two stone mark now. So yeah, I'm, I'm on track. Well, you're not only on track. I've got a bit of news for you this week. Um, since starting Slim for the Summer, you've now lost over two stone as of today. That's two stone, uh, one pound. So round of applause, I think, for that. So you've now lost more than two stone. But in addition, out of everybody doing Slim for the Summer, you're in the lead at this moment. You're even beating Donard, who I know is probably, he's not here this week, but he's maybe watching. Uh, Donard, Donard is very competitive. He's lost 9.06% of his body weight since we started this in January. As of, well, before your three pounds, you had lost 925 percent of your body weight so it's very close at the top between the two guys um but you're just slightly ahead of him at this moment so hopefully that little bit of com um, competing might push you on well done to you congratulations okay we move on we're going to bring up uh chris next come on up chris uh let's see how you've got on this week another seven days has passed how have they been for you you weren't in a good place a week ago have you pulled it back yeah, I have. Um, the last couple of weeks have been really frustrating. Two weeks ago, I stayed the same. And then last week, I put on two pound. Um, so I went back to the drawing board on Sunday, started looking at my diet, and I've changed my diet dramatically. Um, so I'm really hoping for a good result this week. Okay, well, a week ago, you were down to 15 stone 10. Uh, let's see if those little tweaks you've made this week have helped you on your journey. Best of luck today, you weigh. Oh, big one. That's five pounds off. Um, that's a big one-week number, I have to say. And even for the, the bigger guys like myself and Stuart and Donard as well, who've, who, who've, who've the weight. You're there. You're there. Well, you were, you were there. Um, fa five pounds is a big number sort of nine weeks into this. Um, you must be happy with that. Yeah, I'm over the moon. I mean, those changes have obviously made a difference. I've been hitting the gym a lot more. And then... Um Funny, I said to Neil on uh, last Saturday, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to it on Monday. He says, why wait to Monday? Just do it today. And that's, that's exactly what I did. That's made a difference. So really. And you do need somebody like him that's nearby that can do those inspiring one-liners that just, well, why, why would you wait to Monday when, when you can do it today? Well done. Great result for you. Really happy. Um, it's good to see, isn't it, uh, Neil, somebody like Chris, who I think up until now had lost about half a stone, maybe not moving the weight as quickly as he had, had maybe hoped. Then he comes back one week with a diff, like a new lease of life, and he's pulling a number like that. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's just like starting over again, you know, and I think he had a bad week and knew exactly where it had gone wrong. And uh, like he said, he just got straight, straight on the wagon, and uh, that was it. And a fantastic week's effort, five pounds. And, you know, it's, it's very, very impressive at this stage, like you said. Okay, good man. Well done to you, Chris. Right. Um, Maureen's going to come up next. And just before Maureen's weigh in, some more of your messages coming in there. Uh, John Alexander, thanks for shouting in. Um, uh, Gavin Moylan as well. Um, Neil is the, main, uh, uh, is the main man. Words of wisdom as well. The guy's like a book of knowledge. He certainly is. I don't know where he, he, he stores it all, but uh, certainly inspires a lot of us with uh, the information he can dispense. Uh, Laura Doherty saying, Sarah looks fab, by the way. So there you go. You're getting the compliments right today uh, Sarah so congratulations I think we're probably a week away guys from our progress photos as well up on the big screen behind us which will hopefully help us see how far we've come over the last number of weeks uh, Sophie O'Neill um, saying Laura you're doing amazing keep it going uh, Ruth Johnson thank you for shouting in uh, Julie Gillis saying great job from Sarah as well you got a fan club going here a fan club uh, Sharon Robinson hi to you as well and uh, John and Anthony saying this is a great inspiration for people watching thank you Anthony uh, Scott says feeling guilty watching your video today while tucking into my chippy all the best guys keep it up <laughs> that doesn't bother us in the slightest does it what I do for a fish supper right now Oh, I'm telling you. Anne-Marie, thank you for shouting in. Well done to you all. Uh, and William as well. Thanks for your message. Good luck, guys and girls. You're all doing brilliant and keep up the good work. We appreciate all your messages on our Facebook Live video today. Okay, Maureen is next. Uh, again, somebody else who's maybe had a, a little bit of an epiphany this week. Is that fair to say? Mm, well, we'll see. I know um, 
inches wise, I'm definitely down. I am down a dress size. Not sure what he's but I would like to think of about a pound, at least two pound off. I have been doing my exercise, eating has been good, but I still have my Saturday treat. I know when you first came to us nine weeks ago, you were one of the ones that I felt at the time was maybe a little bit reluctant as to whether or not you would still be here come March, as you clearly are. Are you surprised how far you've come? Yes, but I'm thrown and I'll stick it out. Good. You need that sometimes. You're a stubborn Balamina woman. She's going to still be here in June. We're not going to shake her. Well, let's find out how you've got on today. You were 12 stone five pounds a week ago. Has some of those little improvements this week helped you on your journey? Let's find out today you weigh. Okay, so it's a pound off, 12 stone four. Another uh, another one pound off. Is that what you're, you're happy with or were you hoping for a wee bit more of that? That's fine. It seems to be slow and steady for me and motivation-wise, it keeps you going. A pound is a pound. It looks like that. It is a lot of weight. It is. It, it is. It is for sure. And again, Neil, uh, you know, a, another result for for Maureen that she will hopefully be enough that keeps her her mind then focused over the next lot of days and indeed weeks. Yeah, absolutely. And and it's oftentimes, I mean, it might only be one pound on the scales, but you don't know in terms of water retained, food that's sort of residually lying on the body and things. Because I think with Maureen, she noticed the change in shape, and even we all sort of commented, obviously, seeing seeing you start of the day. So. It could well be you weigh yourself tomorrow morning. It could be a lot more. So, yeah, it, it, as long as it's going that right way, you know, that's the that's the thing. That will keep, keep with the head down. So and, of course, slim for the summer's barometer is the scales, but that's only a part of any weight loss journey or battle, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, body constitution comes into it as well. So depending on how your exercise regime is and things like that, sometimes you may not notice it so dramatically in the scales, but in terms of body fat loss, uh, which is the key to it really, you know, it's not strictly, I don't like the term weight loss really, I, I prefer more looking at it from a fat loss perspective, so yeah, absolutely, if you're keeping your, your metabolic rate up with lean tissues on board and losing fat, that's the idea. Okay, nice one, we'll see you in a week, Maureen, well done to you. Another pound off, it's going the right direction, absolutely. Um, some more of your messages, Amory, uh, who was on this journey last year, says she found it easy because of her mindset. She's finding it tougher as well this year because she can't get into the same mindset. Uh, so, um, um, uh, she can't get into the same uh, weight loss mindset as she was a year ago. And if you were listening to, to my radio show this morning, you'll know I talked a little bit about this on the show, that it's exactly the same for me, that I am struggling more this year than uh, maybe I was um, 12 months ago, simply for the same reason is that sometimes your mind's not 100% in it. You've got other things going on in your life, as we all do, and you do find it hard to, to get that motivation sometimes. So I feel for what you're saying, Anne-Marie, and it is, it is certainly difficult. I even think the older you get, even if it is just the period of one year, um, the more difficult it can even at least feel uh, when you have to, to come back to, to losing weight all over again. Uh, Jordan Brown, thanks for shouting in today as well. Sophie O'Neill, good luck. You're all doing fabulous. Uh, hi to uh, uh, Elmo Henry, uh, who's saying hello and good luck to everybody on the scales today. Uh, Donna Adams, well done, everyone. It's not easy. You're all doing great. Thanks so much for shouting in, Donna. And Anthony Gibson says definitely a big part is getting the right mindset and finding balance just what i was saying so respond to that anthony is absolutely uh, mindset is i think so important for, for everybody uh, doing this elaine's up next come on up uh, elaine she was 14 stone two pounds a week ago let me just get some of my stats here for you elaine because i know you've been doing very well we talked on the radio show a wee bit earlier on uh this morning um seven percent of elaine that came into this room in january has now left seven percent of your body gone how does that feel Feels great. I've left her behind. Yeah, I mean, that is old Elaine, isn't it? It is, definitely. And how do you feel now with the benefit of losing, you know, 7% of your body weight over a stone? In fact, 16 pounds of weight um, for, for you must feel on you like a, a new person. I do. I feel as if I've got a lot more energy um, and be able to do a lot more things. And it's only sometimes when you even stop and you think about the things that were even the, the simple mundane things that were a struggle or pain in the ass back in December, January, putting out the rubbish, getting to the top of the stairs, all that sort of stuff. And you're kind of doing it more in your, your stride now. And you do need to stop and think about those wee things, don't you? I do, especially 
in the evenings, the husband would say, or I would say to him, you're making a cup of tea, and he'd go, sure, you get up and do it for a change, where it's now, I get up and do it now. So it's working out for him as well? Then? For him, yes. Yeah, he gets his tea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see how you've got on this week. Um, do you feel you've had a good week, by the way? Yes, I do. You've been back at the gym, have you? Uh, I do a lot more walking, and I've done a class of Zumba in the swim pool last night. Very good, very good. Very good. Well, let's see if we can get a pound or two off you this week because certainly it's going to push you towards the top ends of the 13 stone range, which would be good. Um, and is this the weight? This is the weight. Okay, sorry, I've talked on through your weight. You're the same weight you were a week ago. Radio. You're disappointed with that? I'm disappointed. So I am. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth sometimes. You just get those weeks. I've, I've had them. All of us in, in this room have had them. You don't get the result you want you th and you think you deserve better don't you definitely it'll be there next week okay well just push on and keep consistent and, and again i suppose just bring neil in on this point it's it's not because elaine's got a brilliant mindset here it's to not let something like that think as i have in the past out of hell with it and i'm going to go back to my old ways or i'm not going to try what's the point in trying even for me this week with only my two pounds off i kind of thought well flip i did more than warrant two pounds yeah, you, you will get frustrating phases and things as well. It's just looking at how, you know, how the week went in terms of food and things as well. Is there anything you could have done that was a wee bit more or even skipping meals at certain times and then maybe overeating at other times and just look back at those sort of things because obviously your effort otherwise outside of the, the kitchen's great and you're, you're consistent with that. So it's it's all, more than likely, in most cases it is, if you, if you have a wee bit of a stall, it's it's down to what you ultimately ate. So just looking at certain things, is there things that you could improve and remembering back that thing where so-called sort of health foods aren't always the ideal alternative in terms of when it comes to uh, fat loss and weight loss. Um, so just sort of, like you say, just go through and maybe even do a food diary for a couple of days just to have that accountability and, and then reflect, well, is there a couple of things in there that I could do better or whatever, you know? And equally, I, I would take the time to look at it if you, if, you, if you took the time to put it down. Okay, keep it going, Elaine. We'll see you in a week then. She's disappointed with that. Um, understandably why, you know, thought that she had a good week and it didn't come through in the scales, but we will get those weeks and we have all had them and we will all get them and we'll probably, I mean, in fact, we will definitely uh, get them again. Um, Laura is next. Laura Hutchison from Green Island. 15 stone 10 a week ago, yeah? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Remind everybody how much weight you've lost since you kicked this off in January. Uh, one stone 12. Fine. One stone 12. So I know what is on your mind today well i want <laughs> cream eggs he says it's not always cream eggs <laughs> uh no um well i haven't been bad but i haven't been great um i was busy doing uni coursework so didn't get to the gym and i went for dinner twice so i don't know i would love two pound but if i don't get it i'll get it next week if you don't get it, you're not going to let it deter you at this point. Yeah, and you have. I mean, I think like a lot of the guys in this room, um, you've probably passed the point of no return in, in many ways for, for now anyway, yeah? Yeah, no, there's there's no point in going back. Like, no, no there is. I mean, as I, I tell myself, every time I think about eating that packet of crisps or picking up that chocolate bar, what is the end game here? What's it actually going to do for me? It's just a waste of bloody time, frankly, isn't it? Well, my palate hasn't changed yet, as everybody seems to have done, but I'm just ignorant. You still love your grub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, listen, lady after my own heart, I get where you're coming from. Let's find out if you've got those two pounds this week. I'd be so happy for you if you have. You were 15 stone 10 a week ago today. You're weighing in at... You're still there, 15 stone 10. So, given your given your week, what are you? What's your thoughts on that? That's pretty good. Pavlova must have worked. That's great. I think Pavlova is probably there. Lies the problem. Yeah, probably. Although it had strawberries, so <laughs> it had to have been okay. I don't think that constitutes as one of the five a day. Hold far. We'll find out what Neil um, thinks because Laura's having sort of good weeks, bad weeks, good weeks, bad weeks. That kind of it's it's. Try, trying to find that sort of consistency for her at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, but it's also looking at the long game as well. You, at the end of the day, you will have wee blips. And I think, obviously, I, I think with your studying and all this week and that, those sort of times, it's very hard. Because, yeah. you know, you're exhausted, mentally exhausted. And then when it comes to 
food, you're, you'll grab something that's handy. And invariably, you'll probably go too long without eating. Yeah. And then the first thing, or, or what our bodies are telling us, is to get very high calorie, um, you know, rich foods into us to just get the energy back. So to be honest, that's sort of like damage control this week. And it's just a case of having a better week next week. And you've proven time and time again, when you really put the effort in, it really shows. So, you know, that's, that's yeah, I think like you said, you probably take that this week, yeah. uh, knowing that you can do better. And, and I think that's good. You're positive that you, you know what you need to do. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's a lot worse if people think they're doing everything they should and it's not happening for them. Yeah. So. Okay, and before you go, just one little st stat for you, because I've told everybody earlier that Stuart um, is kind of out on lead here with 9.25% uh, of his body weight evaporated since the start of the year. Um, Donard in close second in contention uh, at 9.06% of his body weight lost. You're third, Laura, on the leader table. Um, because we did, a, we did a calculation this week and uh, you're still at 15 stone 10, so no weight loss this week. But setting that aside, uh, since you kicked off Slim for the Summer back in January, uh, you've lost 8% of your body weight. Uh, so well done. And that means that comparatively out of the group, you're in the, the third best place at the moment in percentage of body weight terms. So well done to, to you. Okay. And finally, someone's asking, I think, about Gareth, but we've already, we weighed in Gareth earlier at the start of the video. Um, uh, so it's, uh, it's Donna. Last, but by no means least. Jump on up, Donna. I can sometimes tell, and I bet you can as well, you have a, I think you have one of these kind of sixth senses when somebody's not had an amazing week. Am I, am I right? Am I, is my spidey senses on target? I honestly don't know is the answer. Um, I had a rough couple of days, Thursday and Friday, um, and had a few things that I shouldn't have been having. Um, I had two days where I smoked. So it was a it was a very bad two days. Um, the rest of the week, not really too sure whether there's no there's been no exercise. I can tell you that for, but. <laughs> um, so it's just what what impact the food's going to have then this week, yeah? I think I've been. I don't know. Well, we just get it over and done with, Donna, because uh, we can speculate here to the cows come home. The scales will tell us the answer. You were sixteen stone on the nose seven days ago. Today, you're weighing in at... Okay, you're still there. So 16 stone, how are you feeling with that? No, I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah I am. I said, I said to the guys, um, I think it was yesterday or today, I'm coming down today literally to find out what damage I've done and then get back on track. So I know that feeling. Enough with 16, yeah. Yeah, I mean, take it. And I, and I think it's important that you do that and just move on and, and get down into the 15s next week. You'll be there. Uh, so a couple of our guys um, staying static this week. Of course, Gareth will be disappointing in, in, in putting on three pounds. What's the best advice you give, Neil, to, to these guys? And like myself, when you have those weeks where the scales aren't your friend. Well, it is. It's just using that sort of as motivation to really step it up the next week. But I think as well, recognizing when you have low, low ebbs and your energy is poor and you feel a bit lethargic, that the last thing that actually helps that is the poor choices when it comes to food and skipping out in the exercise. Like you, you had that last week where you had that moment where you just could not have been bothered. But I sort of chatted to you and you, you basically made your way down to the gym and got on with it. Yeah. And I think you could have gone the other way. And it's very easy, and it's just maybe realizing it's it's all about w what actually rewards us and what, how we um, improve our energy and improve our mood. Because obviously, it's not good to feel in that low state and stay in that low state. Um, so it's pushing through, and maybe just biting a bullet and saying, right, you know what? I'll get out. It's a nice day. I'll get out, and go for a walk. After that, then you're probably going to be more motivated to uh, sit in the kitchen and make something instead of getting the convenient option. So. It's realizing along this process that there's certain ways of breaking those low points. And for all of us, it's, it's always going to be better to feel good and feel, uh, feel like we have energy and then our improved sleep pattern and everything that goes along with that. So it's just learning pr process. So it's just take the week as, an, as another week that we've learned something and, and then moving forward from there. 
yeah so maybe like a bit of a get out of jail free card in many ways if if you didn't put on any weight but you didn't lose any weight then just you know hit as you say hit the reset button and, and look upon it as a as a close shave nearly more than than anything and move on from it okay thank you as always neil anderson from pt uh, from jim and co our pt on slim for the summer cheers for all your input as always that's pretty much we're going to leave it for this week a few final shout outs coming in on the facebook live today carol hi to you uh chloe had a team this week too doing her own uh, personal weight loss journey uh, well done to you chloe and hopefully you'll push it on again like some of these guys well over the next seven days uh, carol derby saying you're all doing great well done uh, i'm doing my own mini transformation uh, at sculpture belfast nicola says i'm really enjoying it good luck to everybody doing slim for the summer hi to you ryan uh, charlene's uh, shouting in as well on the live video well done guys cheering on my brother-in-law gareth uh, really he's, he has, has his hands tied at the moment with a couple of little people i can see over to my side here uh, but he's really putting his heart into keep it going gareth and you can do it uh, lewis adair well done laura uh, laura i uh, think positive at least it's not a gain absolutely John, thanks for shouting in as well. Sandra and Lois Elder as well, wishing everybody uh, the very best of luck. Thanks for all the comments on our Facebook Live channel today. We will leave Slim for the summer there for another week. Keep up to date with all my updates through Snapchat. Just give me an ad, Stuart Robinson on Snapchat, S-T-U-A-R-T. Uh, of course, we do some nightly uh, live Facebook videos through my Facebook page as well, the Stuart Robinson Show. So if you want to sort of keep up to date with all my daily trials and tribulations and vlogs of weight loss we do it all for you there to bear and we'll catch you back on this facebook live channel seven days from now for what will be week 10 yes we'll have made it to double digits on slim for the summer until then have a great week everybody and we'll see you seven days from now see ya